Well, what the hell going on? <laughs> I can't even call you. My friends give me. I see. So, what you getting a divorce? Yes. April the 19th will be it. Man, yeah. that's crazy. No. I remember, I remember. I remember. I was headed. I was in. The, I was in Superior Court. Mm -hmm. My ex-wife was walking to the front. She stopped and looked back and said, "You sure you want to do this?" I was like, "You the one filed." Ooh. <laughs> well, he filed his girlfriend. Well, I started some. Shit. Yeah. So I made. What? Yeah. So I I started some shit to get it done, but what? It, it, yeah. She really don't want it. She say I don't want it. I really don't want it. The divorce of him. No, no, no. I don't want him. You don't want that divorce. If I ain't want it, I wouldn't fail through with it. I wouldn't uh -huh. hit. It's a wrap. But yeah. So why are you getting a divorce? Because he stepped out. I don't play that. I don't so play that. he stepped out one time? Two times. So the first time, what you did? I... Kind of forgave him, I think. I kind of forgave him. He stepped out with the same chick the second time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I just let it. I couldn't do it no more. How she look? How she look? Well, I ain't wasted, but she a white. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying because you know what the see the fucked up part. You know the worst. Let me tell you something. I've come to the realization about. Mm -hmm. Like if a woman step out on a man, he broken. He he don't know how to come back from that. It's like I can't, I can't, I know, right? Mhm. Mm but if a woman step, if she if she step out on a man and date up, mhm, mm it'd be okay. Vice mm -hmm. versa with a woman too. Mhm. Mm if a, it's it's so no, no, I'm saying I, I'm not saying it's like this is a cheat code or nothing, but if a if a if a if a man step out on you. And it's up. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean about how she look. I mean the qualifications, what he's going through, what what drew him in. If if you as a woman could sit back and be like, yeah, that's fucked up, but yeah, like, cause I don't do this shit. I ain't doing that for you. And I, yeah, you you got the right one. I can't fuck with it. Then you kind of have to see a. It ain't that you see a, a opening in the sky with a little light come through. It's just like. If you adult enough and logical enough to be like, well, I understand, okay. That's mm -hmm. up you did that on me, but I understand why. That's one thing. But when the motherfucker just cheating the cheat because he was bored or because it just got hard, then I can understand that causing all the problems in the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, because I've gone through it, you know what I'm saying? I remember, you know, I remember one of the moments so a chick cheated on me and she cheated down. You know, mm -hmm. she cheated when they ain't had no money. She cheated when they that was... She had to take we you know she had to take him to smoke with him. You know I, mean? I think it's downgrade. It ain't a it, it ain't a it ain't an upgrade. He just he had to find a weaker woman. I think I was yeah. just too and sometimes too that'll be it. Sometimes sometimes um, I oh, think man man oh yeah, he gonna come back. He oh I'm ready to come home. I know, I'm just, I, know he, I know he do. He can't come back. Ain't no coming back from man, that. Get that. Get that man another chance, man. Ain't do it. Call him up. Let 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 FaceTime on three way. Can't do it. Can't can't wait. April nineteenth, come to say it. Can we work it out, <laughs> baby? Hey. Uh, who saying that? Uh, Tyrese. Baby, uh, uh. Oh yeah, he was. Man. My friend <laughs> talking about me while I'm sitting right here, and she think I okay. Yeah, I'm wet. Oh, he was insecure as a mother. I've been told her that. What made him insecure though? Feel like they're insecure. I don't know. They're lacking something. Oh, SMD fitness. You oh, finesse. Finesse, I, is, I guess. He said, nah, because I'm about to get her. Oh, okay. He said, I'm controlling. I'm not controlling. I just had boundaries. Goddamn, man. He gets nah, you're a little control. You're a little control. I am not <laughs> control. You're a control. You're a little control. That's me to move. I am not control. When your birthday? When your birthday? November the twenty second. I'm borderline Scorpio. It's Scorpio Sagittarius. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I drove these folk crazy. No, you did. I we feel sorry. I feel sorry for my friends. I ain't gonna lie. We gave her the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Did. We ain't gonna, 
you know what I'm saying? It ain't meant that he can. It ain't meant. Oh, okay, so let me ask you this real talk. First time you caught him, how did you catch him? Well, he admitted it. He just admitted to I started, wait, wait, wait. started moving different, and yeah. I'm like, I'm ain't right. And he admitted. Well, if, if you know your man, your man know if you if you know your man. I, I say that an assertive woman who can watch you, cause cause here's the thing, mm -hmm. this is not, this is one thing like this is what landed me in in the position to be mad. Let me tell you, this is some real shit. Mm -hmm. When I could be thinking something, oh, and, and, and my lady could say, <laughs> "Don't even think about it." <laughs> what? Or if I'm thinking something, she look at me and say. What's on your mind? I, I can feel it. That let me know that woman knew me, and 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 so it was too many times when we was in situations and positions where I know the average woman can't deal with my lifestyle. They can't, it's, it it gets interesting because I'm a, I'm an approachable person. I'm personable, right. so people right. like to walk, especially women. Women are oh you're so cool da, 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 da. and my favorite cousin. I'd be like hold on, babe, hold on, hold on, hold on, and. Another woman couldn't take that shit. My lady was able to got down, you know, walk in and say, hey, I'm right here. As mm -hmm. long as you know that I'm right here and you ain't doing no shit to embarrass me or disrespect me, I'm cool. You just don't yeah. let that shit get out of line. You, know, you right. talk to her. When, when a woman handle a man like that, he can't help but got down be like, shit, cool. Because a lot of times, it's just like when the police on you. A lot of niggas up because they nervous. A lot of them fuck up because they don't know what to do. A lot of them fuck up because they like that, that I own them. And that'd be a problem sometimes. Sometimes women got to let that man breathe. Let that man breathe a little bit, especially in their presence. Because sometimes a woman will get a man in a situation that he don't even supposed to be in. Last night, you saw it. Not saying, not saying Jada May will slap Chris, but he really ain't have a choice when she made that he, face. It was like, when she got down said you got to do something. She said when that. she did that, that. <clears throat> it looked like she said. You got to do something. If, if I could, I'd go up here and slap the fuck out this thing. And, and, yep. and Will looked and said. He ain't had no choice but to go slap it. <laughs> he had to do something. <laughs> yeah, he put on spot. He had to do something. Well, I, I, listen, I'm going to say this before I go. Okay. I, I, I want you to be thankful for every day. Mm-hmm. You know, when you walk away from something as, as 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 big as that type of commitment, you know, don't walk away empty-handed. And I'm not talking about a, a physical possessions or anything like that. You have to walk away and learn who you are, who you were, also. Because mm -hmm. I know we ain't perfect. We we, you know, we tell our side of the story. Yeah. We the, we, we, the, we the angel. Oh, I mean, you know, I would never do anything. Let's be for real. So you have to walk away and ask yourself sometimes, do we, did we, how did we, and what did we contribute to these end results? We we have to. It's, it's, Thank only, you. it's only right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying you did mm -hmm. anything wrong, but I'm saying we have to learn from that. So the next time in our approach to quote unquote love, we have to we have to be like, all right. I did some things sometimes that I know I added pressure when I ain't have to, but I felt like I had to mm -hmm. because I ain't no punk. I ain't no hope. And sometimes it's just like when when we have it's that moment when it's like when I put that gun in my face. And get what he said. Mm -hmm. And my you know somebody wanna buy a mm -hmm. thirty eight? I was like Shit, what could I say? The gun is in my face. Damn. Now I could have been like, nah, no, don't fuck with that shit. I don't want, I don't want no that ain't and I don't want no or I could have been like, hey man, please don't rob me. You know what I told her put that gun in my face? I said, bro, right. turn away so the police don't see what you're doing. Put them up. He he was like, huh? I like that my probation <laughs> officer right now. Cause I was at the probation office. I was like, that my probation officer right now. I like stand over there where I said, at least if you me, they ain't gonna. They won't see who you shot. He was confused as fuck. He put his gun away. Wow. But I could have been like, bro, hold up, bro, don't rob me. He could have been like, yeah, fuck, lay it down. So wow. you got to think about the moments when you, when you in the in, like, you had a choice. Because I've been in. It's, it's been moments. 
my wife has said some shit to me. Mm-hmm. And I say, I don't want to argue today. Because yeah. I choose to be happy. We got to, So going forward, learn the moments to choose to be happy. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times we, 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 we create that. We create our own turmoil and we don't realize it just because emotionally, our emotions are law to us, right? Yeah. If I walk, if your homegirl is right there, it's your homegirl, but she slapped the fuck at you, foul. You don't got to think about how you feel. Right. Your emotions going to say, bitch. And you're going to be ready to react. So that becomes law to you. You're like, no, nah, I got to slap you back for trying me. Sometimes we have to step away from what we are considering the law, meaning our emotions, because that law at the moment might not work in that state of mind. Meaning, I can have a certain here in Georgia, I can have certain, I can do certain shit in Georgia, but the minute I cross that line to go to Alabama, those laws are not reciprocated. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, listen to what I said. That law, what you feel from your emotion, mm-hmm. does not work the same in every state of mine. I ain't never, on oh, my mom, I never said that ever in my life. I got to write that shit down. I'll say it live so I can remember that shit, but that's real shit because that's how it works. And sometimes when we're in a different state of mind, we have to just pump our brakes. I just want to leave you with that because I always watch your shit, man. And I always seem, you always seem to be straight up and hunted. And, and you know what? And I know what it's like to watch a good woman have to walk away from a up situation. It don't mean it's a fucked up man. It just sometimes be a fucked up situation. You know what I'm saying? It's alright. Listen. Don't, what are we hiding for? Shit. We on here talking. Shit. I felt you. That's that's why I got on with you. That's I ain't never went live with you. Have I ever? Mm-hmm. Have I ever? Never. And I always on your page. I always showing love. But that's 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 life, and, and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta take this time for real, for real. And you you have to take the pains that come with this shit because we all go through it. Whoever you tied to your home girl right now, watch you cry. She don't want to see you cry. In her mind, she like, bitch, hold it together, bitch, hold it together, <laughs> hold it together, bitch. But that cause that's your partner. But indirectly, she feel that, and and you have to. You have to find it in yourself to just say, you know what, God? Today's the first day of the rest of my life. And I'm going to do everything I can to make what you give me better. Because we don't know our, we don't know our expiration date. I, I talked about this a week ago. I said, if we knew our expiration date, mm-hmm. a lot of the shit we're doing, we wouldn't be doing Right. You know what I'm saying? So you take that and you, you, you take that and you take that where it's supposed to go because life is is crazy. We don't know. I'm just sitting here kicking with my mom and this one day she come out and tell me and say, hey, I need to tell you something. And I'm not going to tell you what she told me. Mm. But the shit she told me made me a different man in less than 10 minutes of her telling me that. You feel what I'm saying? Because sometimes when 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 God sends certain parables for you to look at and, and try to understand to convey a message to you, you may not know it right away, but some you know how they say, some in my spirit, some mm. touch you. Whatever I just said to you, that shit touched you. It did. Because cause cause guess what? You know what? You said you gave him a second chance, you gave him a second opportunity. You know what I'm saying? And somewhere now you feel justified because look, I gave you a second opportunity. I'm not gonna let you do this to me again. I gotta protect me at all costs, and that's how it goes sometimes, you know. And you know, you know the old folks say, uh, uh, people don't believe fat meat grease. Mm-hmm. You ever heard somebody say that? Mm-hmm. That's what it was. He ain't believe fat meat with grease, and he was gonna slip. And that's what he did. So I, I just want to tell you, man, just keep being beautiful. Every time I, I see your page, I always show you love. And a lot of times, me and my wife will look at your page and laugh at shit you be done said and reposted it. Shit. <laughs> but you're going to be all right, man. You know what I'm saying? But look, do me a favor. Mm-hmm. Do me a favor, okay? Mm-hmm. One favor. Yeah. I know it's one thing to be happy and we celebrate certain things, right? Mm-hmm. But 
I'm not telling you how to live your life at all, but I, I just want you to try something for me. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to rejoice in the idea of the divorce. Mm -hmm. I want you to celebrate in the opportunity to rebuild yourself and to re-empower yourself. Celebrate that. Don't rejoice in the divorce. Because I never seen a team celebrate when they didn't win the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you hear where I'm coming from, and that's that's a that's from because I've been the, I, 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 it was one of the hardest things in my life to go through my divorce. You know what I'm saying? Because I never wanted I never I never wanted to be in that position in my life. And I remember I can tell you a quick story. I remember going upstairs one day, and we me and my wife doing our itemizing through the house, mm -hmm. twelve thousand square foot home, and then we walked through this mother. Talking about, I'm, she, she's like, I'm gonna take this. You could keep that. I'm gonna take this. Nah, f that. You can have that. And it wasn't a fun thing, right? But let me tell you what it was. We got upstairs, and it was just one thing that I wanted. I designed this sofa. I had a sofa, a sofa design. I paid about fifteen thousand for it, right? Mm -hmm. And that sofa, when I saw the design of the sofa, I said, I'm gonna get a pool to match that sofa. So from my top, my fourth floor, you could see my sofa. And when you look over that sofa, you see the pool. And it was the same shape. It was amazing. She said, you could keep that. I don't know how you feel about it, right? Mm -hmm. The day I come home and the move was up, she said, oh, I decided I'm going to take the sofa, too. I said, hey, hey. And I had to stop myself. You know what made me stop myself? Let me tell you what made me stop myself. Mm -hmm. I said, if I act like a bitch ass right now and start an argument over keeping the sofa and not start an argument over keeping my family, I'm a you. Mm -hmm. And when she took and, and, and the move, get what they did, I was standing upstairs. They went and they went and separate the sofa. Oh God, if I'm lying, I forgot I had the head away. To see a hundred dollars when they moved that sofa, I said, Let me just stay up here. It was no reason, I just wanted to make sure they didn't tear it up moving it because it was a special way they had to pull out. When I found that money, I was like, God told me not to make no fuss about it because I could have been pissed off. I'd have walked down, still like, Hey, that take that shit. Later, found my money, but I got that little money, and guess what? I did, don't you know the sofa? No. Nah. I helped, I helped her pay for that fucking move. That was an expensive-ass move. <laughs> <laughs> but I paid for it with money that I didn't even realize I had. So, wow. hey, man, I just want to say, man, for real, again, man, you see me, show me some love like I show you love. And again, and again, remember what I told you. Don't rejoice in the divorce. Mm -hmm. Celebrate in your prosperity moving forward, okay? Thank you. Amen. Bye, God. All right, so y'all keep it gangster. Get drunk for me. <laughs> get wet. Cause get wet. Cause get wet. Look, soon as soon as she hang on this phone, y'all be like, bitch, get. <laughs> <laughs>